As 2011 nears its end and 2012 nears its birth, we look back at how United Methodists around the world reacted and reached out as events unfolded. From Japan's tsunami, to record-setting hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, and fires in the United States. United Methodists were in the midst of every disaster. And we met every challenge, ministering to body and soul. We gave hope to the suffering, 13 million people starving in the Horn of Africa. Two and a half million U.S. children who joined the ranks of the poor. Forty-six million Americans now living below the poverty line. the anxious dads and moms among the jobless. The church in 2011 faced its own challenges. Members debated and searched for resolutions. After nearly a year of discussion, congregations are looking for ways to become more vital, and a proposed restructuring of the church is heading to general conference. That's not the only hot-button topic General Conference will tackle. A church trial in Wisconsin did not end discussion of the church's ban on gay clergy and same-sex marriage. The year was not without other milestones. The United Methodist Church has long felt the need to bring more young people into its pews and pulpits. An annual report revealed some good news on this count, a 10-year high in clergy under the age of 35. Perhaps campus minister Ashley Alley spoke for all United Methodists when she said, God has shown me that when we do keep our ear open to the call of the Holy Spirit, God is going to use us in ways that are beyond our imagination.